My name is Matt, this is Hidden Light, and you should throw your lens caps away. Okay, so kind of seriously though, I've been like this, the way that I am, lens cap free for a long time. And there's a reason for that. It started in my photojournalism days when I was working for the school paper at university. And the photo editor, who was of course my boss, made the argument that a lens cap takes time to take on, put off, whatever. That one second, two seconds, five seconds, however long it takes you to put your lens cap on, take your lens cap off, put it in your pocket, get ready to shoot, could be the difference between you getting and you missing the shot. The shot. Whatever the shot is. And let's say you shoot a couple of assignments a day as a photojournalist, and you put your lens cap on and off every time you know you're going to take a picture or every time you know you're done taking pictures, that could be a gazillion times a day. Well, okay, many times a day. And every time you do that, you lose a second, two seconds, however many seconds it takes you to fish the thing out of your pocket, put it back on the camera, put the camera away. Over the course of your career, of your lifetime, of your experience taking pictures, the more times you do that, the more times you might miss a photo. That's really where it comes from. But since then, I've come to appreciate a lack of lens caps for more than that. For one, if you keep, I mean, okay, so what's a lens cap for, right? It protects your lens. That's what it's for. It's there to make sure that nothing nasty, dirty, icky, slimy, wet, whatever, gets through to the front element of your lens, which is of course expensive, very fancily coated by the manufacturers. You don't want nasty things happening to the front element of your lens, because if it happens, like, you're screwed. Like, you gotta grind down the element, like, you're buying a new lens. I get it. I get the desire to protect expensive things. Kinda. A UV filter, or a haze filter, or whatever you wanna call just a, an inexpensive easy to use filter does all the same things that a lens cap does, but it's see-through. And if you get a good filter, it doesn't affect the image quality very much. Yes, it's gonna be, it's another piece of glass. It's another surface that needs to be cleaned, sure. But most of the time, you won't notice it. And your filter will protect the front element of your lens the same way that your lens cap will, except it's always on, which means your lens is still protected even while you're using it. Because as soon as you take your lens cap off and put it in your pocket, if you don't have a filter, your lens is now completely unprotected, exposed to the world. If you drop the camera with no filter and no lens cap, you go to be in a world of hurt. In fact, that's what happened to these filters. And that's why I maintain that this is still like a seriously good idea because that could have been the lens, the front element of your lens. That would have been terrible. But because it's a cheap five or $10 filter, who cares? Buy another one. Screw a new one on, call it good. Piece of cake. You're not gonna miss a moment because the filter's already on. You just pick up the camera and shoot. You know what I mean? Like, does that, I've, ever since I started living the lens cap free life. I have taken every lens cap that I've owned and put them in a box. And I don't use them. I've got nice, expensive, proper lenses. And you put a UV filter on them. Now some of the 77s, you know, whatever, the big filters cost a little more and you wanna pay a little bit more for better glass quality. Totally, I'm into that. Maybe it's a $35 filter, but it protects the lens while it's in your bag. It protects the lens while you're shooting with it. It's protecting the lens. When you take the lens off the camera and switch to a different one, it's fine. Like, yeah, put a rear body cap on it because they don't make rear body cap things. What are they called? Filters. But don't have to worry about this. It's protected. It's fine. It's, it's in some cases 
sealed better against dust through this tightened on filter than your actual lens cap, which is just like held on with those two little pinch points on the sides and nothing else. Maybe it's just me. But I recommend if you are interested or curious, oh my gracious. We're just gonna have 45 seconds of this video of me not being able to put this thing back on. Uh, I recommend trying it. See if it changes your shooting style. Uh, side note slash not really a non sequitur, I also recommend you keep your lenses on your camera at all times. So don't, when you take your camera, like put it away in storage, whatever. I know a lot of people take their lenses off, put a body cap on. Your lens is usually going to keep more shit out of your camera body than a body cap will. Like a lot of lenses these days are, uh, what do they call it? UV or not UV, um, weather sealed. And your body cap is not. So if you want dust and hairs and whatever to stay out of your camera, just keep a lens on it. It's the same basic principle. Anyway, yeah, lens caps, don't need them. If you are a lens cap user and you have what you believe to be a good argument for using lens caps, uh, pfft, let me know in the comments below. Like, I'm not married to this idea. It's just the way I've been living for the last 20 years. If you can convince me otherwise, I'm super into it. Hit me up in the comments below, or if you're a filter user instead of a lens cap person yourself, say the same thing. Let me know. Anyway, see you in the next one.